So a poll found that a majority of Americans don't want President Biden or former President Donald Trump to run for president in 2024. Let's talk about today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. If you share my concerns, maybe you could like this video, subscribe to this channel, even click that little bell that will notify you when I post something new. So to be sure, Joe Biden has had a rough couple of months. Ironically, as I describe in other videos that I'll link to at the end of this video, the economy is doing incredibly well. People are back to work at unprecedented rates. People are optimistic about the economy, or at least about their personal finances and their spending as a result of it. President Biden has a lot to point to for his first year in office. He's been able to appoint more judges to the bench than Donald Trump was able to in his first year, almost twice as many, in fact. He passed the infrastructure bill that has been out of reach for the last couple of administrations. And his Coronavirus Relief Act, which was passed only with Democratic votes, by the way, really helped America get through the pandemic. He got us out of Afghanistan and got most of the country vaccinated. Based upon the above, you'd think that he would be extremely popular. Well, for various reasons, which again, I describe in other videos that I'll link to at the end, that does not appear to be the case. Instead, he's dealing with a level of unpopularity that's getting close to what President Trump had during pretty much his entire time in office. Donald Trump, of course, we know is incredibly unpopular. I mean, among the people who liked him, they loved him. That 35 to 39 percent of the electorate who were Trump supporters literally would have supported him if he walked out into the middle of Fifth Avenue and shot someone, as he famously described. But among everybody else, they were absolutely repelled by him on a personal level and on a policy level. They were disgusted by his constant attacks on everybody, and they were deeply opposed to his policies to try to get rid of Obamacare and to pass the massive tax giveaway to billionaires. It's not by accident that Trump lost the election and by a massive margin. But let's face it, Joe Biden was never the perfect candidate really for anybody. In many respects, he was a compromise candidate, somebody all the Democrats could live with as we tried to make sure, above all else, we got rid of Donald Trump, which was priority number one. And as president for the Democratic faithful, he's certainly been a disappointment in many ways. His profile has been low, which I think is part of the reason that he hasn't generated the enthusiasm that some other candidates might have. And while he does have some important accomplishments to point to, some of the most important things, such as the Build Back Better bill and election reform legislation, have been mired in congressional process. You would have thought that as a long-serving senator and former vice president, Joe Biden would be better positioned to figure out ways to get his legislative agenda accomplished. Well, apparently, that's not really the case. He's proven himself to be pretty ineffective at moving his way through Congress, as well as making his case to the general public. Now, I sure hope that he can change this, and I believe that he can. I mean, I remember back during the Clinton administration, when literally it was one disaster after another. Into the 1994 election, we saw the takeover of Congress by the Republicans for the first time in, like, 30 years. And yet, Bill Clinton was re-elected and probably would have been re-elected a third time if he'd been able to run, even after he was impeached. So I do think that Joe Biden can come back from this. And in fact, I can kind of relate to where he's at right now. I had worked in a mayor's office at one point as a senior advisor to the chief executive of our city, and we went through some rough periods, I've got to tell you, often as a result of things that were totally out of our control. What you just have to do during those periods is essentially hold on and wait for them to be over and do your best to move forward. Because like anything else in life, you know, things go up, things go down, things come back. And really what you just have to do is hope for the fact that you've positioned yourself well enough that when the election comes around, you have a good situation surrounding yourself. So should President Biden and former President Trump take this poll to heart? Probably not is the truth of the matter. In fact, I think it's pretty clear that if the election were held at this point, Joe Biden and Donald Trump would each win their respective primaries. And in fact, the poll indicates that. What's more is if then you have a head-to-head -head race between President Biden and former President Trump, it's likely that President Biden would win again, as again, the poll indicates as well. So what does this data point mean? Well, the problem that we often deal with in political circumstances is that people are looking for a hero, someone who's going to rescue them. And the reality is that 
people are still people. Nobody's perfect. Even for the members of the MAGA cult, Donald Trump is not perfect. And so we're always left wishing for some perfect candidate to come into the race, someone who actually doesn't exist. Instead, we have to deal with the reality that you're talking about two imperfect individuals running against each other. That's why you continuously hear that research shows that Mickey Mouse would win an election, or that even once the candidates have been set in an election, people wish that someone else were running. They always wish someone else were running. But what ultimately happens is once that person's running, they realize that person's not perfect either, and their favorability goes down. No, the reality is we just need to accept the fact that nobody is perfect, not even a president, that they're just people doing their best under difficult circumstances. To give President Biden and his staff credit for this, I think they understand this. They understand that this is a long game and that they can't be worried about changes in popularity from one day to the next. Do they wish that Joe Biden were more popular now? Of course they did. Do they wish that circumstances were a little bit better, that Omicron weren't a problem, that more people were vaccinated, and that inflation weren't looming? Of course they do. But they understand that what they have to do is make sure that President Biden is positioned as well as he can to keep pushing forward his agenda. And hopefully then, once the election does roll around, that people appreciate the kind of level-headed leadership that he's been able to provide for this past year. Well, if you agree with me or disagree with me, I'd love to see your comments down below. And if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel, that'd be a huge help. I'll link over here another video about Joe Biden's favorability rating and the struggles that we've been dealing with on that. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.